Mill Springs Mill, a water powered grist mill listed on the National Register of Historic Places, was built in 1877 and it is on the public lands of Lake Cumberland. Its 40 foot overshot water wheel is one of the largest in the world and probably the largest water wheel currently operating. This would be really nice at night. The light and the water flowing through here. Very pretty. Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome. Welcome to After Another Adventure. I'm Randy and we are at Mill Springs, historic Mill Springs. This was established back in 1807. The mill and the water wheel were restored as a project in 1976 and are now operated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Demonstrated with tours of the mill are conducted for the public during recreation season. What was unique about this, the mill and the Cumberland River uh, were a good fit because they would grind all the wheat and corn here and then put it on boats and take it down the river. Lake Cumberland is the largest man-made lake east of the Mississippi River. Its large surface acre, acreage over 1,200 miles of shoreline provide a recreational opportunities for everyone. The gift shop, operated by the Monticello Women's Club, the gift shop is open on Sundays 1 to 5, Friday, Saturday, and Monday 10 to 5, Tuesday and Thursday 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. In 73, 1973, the mill was de designated as a National Historic Site. This would be really nice at night. The light and the water flowing through here. Very pretty. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineer Nashville District operates the historic mill where two 48-inch stones or French burrs imported from a quarry in northern France are still used today and capable of milling up to 1,600 pounds of corn an hour. That is a lot of corn. The historic grist mill at Mill Springs Mill on the shoreline of Lake Cumberland in Monticello, Kentucky. You can take a journey back in time when cornmeal and wheat were once processed and shipped down the Cumberland River to customers downstream. The story of Mill Springs Mill began in 1817 when Charles John and Dr. James Metcalf settled in the area and erected a cereal grinding mill or a grist mill, as they are, were usually called. For the milling of corn and wheat, the mill was equipped with 48-inch French burrs millstones for grinding wheat and corn. For flour and corn mill were custom ground for families who brought their grain by wagon or horseback on milling day. In 1824, brought the destruction of the Metcalf mill and factories due to the fire. Metcalf took on the task of rebuilding and reconstruction was completed in 1839. Three-story grist Big stone pillars. Like to see it in operation. My wife and I will have to come out here. It's definitely a pretty place. Come out here and have a picnic. 
Uh, there's a pavilion over there. Looks pretty nice. The house up on top was the original home. I've been to Cumberland Lake a lot of times. We've been camped out here on the north side by Wolf Creek Dam. That's a really nice campground there also. I was just looking at the map and come upon this. Man, just like, we need to check this place out. It's about a three hour drive. On January 1862, blood was shed on the grounds of the Mill Springs as the North fought the South. Because of its easily defense capabilities, ferry landings, the river and easily approach to Cumberland Gap and mountain passes at Jacksonboro, Tennessee. The Battle of Mill Springs, as it came to be called, one of the first great battles of the Civil War. In 1908, the 28-foot cedar wheel was replaced by a steel water wheel, still in use. A 15-horsepower auxiliary crude oil engine was added in 1920 as a supplement power to the mill. The water was just flowing. The three springs feeding this is just massive. It is a sight to see. Right. That's the gift shop right there. Let's go up by the house, shall we? Turning out to be a pretty morning. We're right outside of Monticello and Burnsville, I believe. Historic Burnsville, if I'm pronouncing that right. Since it's off season, the bathrooms are closed. I like the way they have the lights installed through here. It's pretty. Well, Friday, we are packing up and we're headed towards Greensboro Lake State Park. I haven't been there. It's northeastern Kentucky. It's about a three hour and a half drive. We'll be testing the fifth wheel out. This is really pretty back here. I didn't think it went all the way back here. It's on this point. It's nice.
Cumberland Lake is known for their striped bass, bass, walleye, crappie, smallmouth, bigmouth. It is a huge lake. And below the dam is uh, Wolf Creek Dam where you can trout fish. And they have a trout hatchery right there. And they actually have a area for disabled, handicapped people who want to fish. And they have a paved trail to where a stream is and you can fish. It's really a nice setup. So I guess with this cannon sitting here, this was a uh, fortified point. And go down there to the lake. Just pass. really quiet out there. Everest was really excited to go today. He was happy. We haven't been out since we came back from Michigan. Been so busy. It's crazy. Come on. Oh, Jane keeps telling me, take a day off, take a day off. I just have so many projects because I want to get done. And at the same time, I'm not paying attention. My YouTube channel, I'm not paying attention to. And that's not right either. We have a couple docks here if you wanna dock your boat here and visit. That's pretty nice. Wow, that's a big grill. huge. Probably about two and a half feet. Big picnic tables. Nice pavilions. I'd like to have that at my house. Come on. Ever shoot, good boy. You good boy. Yeah, you good boy. They have tours.
and beautiful home. I like that. So, well. Pretty. We used to have two sheds similar behind our house, about uh, 10 feet. Kids used to play in them all the time. Come on. Come on. That's different. Must be a staircase. No, I'm not going up down there. Pretty home. Come on. Brown Laner House, Mill Springs Battle of Mill Springs. Stop nine. I'm gonna have to look that up and what the other stops are. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. It was pretty interesting. You don't see very many mills like that still in operation. That was pretty cool. Well, have a great day. Happy trials, everybody. Be safe. Be humble.